One of the major pieces of work that you have to complete in this course is a final project. We do not have a final exam, and so the final project is supposed to encapsulate all that you've learned in the course, your progress, and um, a very detailed strategy document that is um, proposing a strategy for a company or brand um, that is aimed at a particular ethnic group of your choosing. Now, we cover the major ethnic groups in this course, and so I expect that the final project should be based on one of the groups that we cover in the course. Now, just so we are clear, um, even though you will select a particular ethnic group, I expect that you should be able to identify a sub-segment of that group. So, are you targeting women? Are you targeting men? Are you targeting millennials? Are you targeting um, adolescents? You have to be very clear on that specific subsegment, um, and you also have to be clear on the company or brand. Now, in choosing a company or brand, first you have to establish: Does the company currently have marketing efforts that are geared towards that specific cultural segment? If they do not have marketing efforts um, targeted towards that cu cultural segment, then you're fine. You can then establish that they currently ha don't have any marketing activities or strategies currently um, directed to that segment, and you can say why is it, it's important for them to do that, and then go into proposing your strategy. If the company currently has a strategy or marketing efforts directed to that audience that you are interested in, then your job is to say why what they're doing currently is not sufficient and then you go ahead and propose, you know, the revamped um, marketing effort that you're proposing. So that is really what that is about. Pick one of the major ethnic groups, pick a smaller segment within that larger group that you think is going to be ideal for that product or brand. And so that should take into account the product or brand that you're working on, looking at who their current target audience is and see what group within that larger ethnic group that you're focusing on would be an ideal fit for the product or the brand. So the the product project has several sections, and so I'll just go through them. Um, one of the things that I want you guys to know is that there is a template that is available in the course library as well as in the module folder um, that has the final project topic and also your final project submission folder. Those folders will have a copy of the template, and so yeah, I expect that you guys will use a template. At the very minimum, you should have those headings um, that are in the template. Feel free to add more to further organize your document. I do not want to see a extremely long essay. Um, this is supposed to be a strategy document, and I hope that you know you put enough work into this so that you can keep it as a part of your portfolios. So when you go out there into the working world you will be able to um, take that with you as a sample of the work that you've done in the past. For the IB majors, you may want to grab a copy of the um, Principles of Marketing, Kotler and Armstrong. I think it's the text for 493. Um, it will have some information on the sections of a marketing plan. Now, I don't want you to use the template that is provided please stick to the sections that are in the syllabus, that are in the template that I gave you. Um, but if you are not familiar with what would be expected in general in a marketing plan, then go to Cartler and Armstrong to get a general idea of what those different elements mean if you are not clear, right? And I think a lot of people may have taken um, a, a very basic marketing course um, and that text will be very useful. So go back to that text. If you still don't, if you don't have a copy anymore, feel free to go to the library. I'm sure there's a copy there. It's going to be extremely useful to you. Okay. So let's go into the sections of the project. First, you have to define the pro the problem. You need to really solidly establish why the company needs a marketing plan. So it's not sufficient to just say, oh. This market is, is, is large, this company needs money, and so they need a marketing plan. No, you really want to go into, okay, does a company currently have a plan? Um, what are the shortfalls of its current plan? This 
group I think would be ideal for the company to, to target and here's why give me the numbers use the census numbers the pew numbers to say you know we're talking about size magnitude buying power because you want to show that the company could stand to gain a lot by targeting a specific group you also want to talk about the competitors and so you want to look at who the company's major competitors are but you also want to talk about what they're currently doing to target that specific cultural segment that you are going to be focusing on so if the major competitors are not doing anything then you have to discuss each competitor and say you know this is what they do for their general market campaigns and for multicultural campaigns there is nothing or you discuss what is done because you want to show basically where the company that you're focusing on is it on par or is it ahead of or is it behind competitors in terms of reaching that specific cultural segment you want to say what are some of the things that they've done so it's not okay it's not enough to just say oh they currently have um some advertising you want to talk about what the campaigns are do they have tv radio online please discuss right um and then you want to also establish what your goals are and so I ask you to establish smart objectives objectives are specific measurable measurable achievable realistic and time bound and so and these are objectives that you expect your marketing program to fix so don't get too wide with your objectives so that they are so broad that these are not marketing objectives right you want to make sure that these objectives are specific to the marketing plan that you are implementing and you will also have to say you know justify why you think these are appropriate and so those are very important so that's the first section in the def definition of the problem then there is target segment and justification as I said previously you first talk about the large ethnic group so if it's Hispanics African Americans whatever group that you're focusing on but then you need to be able to say what sub segment so then you want to describe okay what percentage of the overall US population or the population of that ethnic group that this group represent do you know anything about their income level of education lifestyle things they like things they don't like things that are important to them things that are don't not important to them so you are going to talk about things that you know about them that can provide additional information and to, as to why this target segment is a good one for the company to pursue right and you have to say basically why it makes sense then you have to identify media resources so it asks you what media will you use to reach your specific um, target audience and so basically what you're going to be doing is taking a look at um, what is available in terms of what the company has done is doing in terms of reaching general market then you want to look at um, the statistics on um, so Nielsen and Pew and all of these these companies they do a lot of reports that say for example um, what types of media members of this various ethnic groups um, watch or consume more than others and so that should give you cues as to okay I want to make sure that we have ads placed on TV or radio or online or outdoor or mobile you want to use statistics to justify the selections that you're making in terms of TV and then you want to talk if you have any information on specific vehicles and by vehicles I mean TV stations radio stations specific websites specific social media channels right um, one thing that I want to caution you can't suggest a marketing plan that is just only social media that is very lopsided traditional media still has its place outdoor radio all those things still have their place and so you what you want is an integrated marketing plan and that is discussed I think it is in chapter 2 of Mueller it has to be integrated meaning com containing more than one elements that will be basically saying the same thing um, we are going to make sure that they're coordinated that they're not going in different directions they're saying similar things the message is consistent but it has to be um, multifaceted it can't be lopsided you can't just say only social media because again depending on the product or brand you may want to think about in store or if you're thinking about a car what happens at the point of purchase what happens at the dealer locations um, 
for a lot of people, they will get online to make inquiries, but then they take their search offline and go in person. So if you want to talk about the in-service, in-store experience, um, having persons who have the language capability or stuff like that to communicate with the people, making sure that they have print materials that are in language or in culture. So you have to think about all those things, not just, oh, great, we see that this group uses a lot of social media. So let's just focus on social media only. Um, you will find that that's quite lop lopsided. Most companies n don't do that. They want a multifaceted approach that encompasses both traditional and new media. So that's something that I wanted to kind of um, uh, stress on. Then when it comes to the positioning and message strategy, this is a section that gets a lot of people confused. What we are talking about here is cultural insights. Now, the statistics that you find on usage of media and stuff like that, those are not cultural insights. Those are statistics um, that should help you in your execution. What we want to know when we're talking about cultural insights is from a cultural perspective, what have you learned about the culture of the group that you are targeting, their values, what is important to them, what are those things that you think most apply to this product or brand? So for example, in the past, I have done um, a telephone company. And when I looked at the, the things that I learned, and I was looking at Hispanic specifically, the things that I learned, I learned that connections is very important to them. I learned that keeping in touch with family and friends is important to them. I learned that brands were a status symbol and they like to have products that are um, that other people have that are trendy. So then I learned about values, importance of certain things. So then this is what I'm trying to get from you guys when I ask about positioning and message strategy. We want to pick out the cultural ins insights that we can say, okay, if we talk about our product or brand in this particular way, then it's going to have this particular emotional effect on the, the the target consumer so you want your messaging to be consistent you want your messaging to be appealing to the target audience and you have to use what you have learned about the culture to t to talk about what would be most relevant and applicable to this product or brand to a particular advertising campaign and so this is what we are talking about. How can we leverage what we know about the culture in positioning our product or brand? So it's not about media usage. So I don't want to hear anything about, oh, let's, the, the insight is let's use mobile. No, what I want to know is culture. What are we going to be saying to them? What are the things that we know about their culture that can translate into a message that we can use, right? And so then we will talk about whether it's similar or different from what we learn about other ethnic groups. One of the things that we will learn very quickly once we start going through the different groups is that some groups are similar, especially minority groups, they're similar culturally. And so you may find that, for example, what you learn about a part one culture, for example, Hispanics, you may find that when you read about African Americans or you read about Asian Americans, you see some similarities. So then... The question is, can I use a similar insight to apply to another group? Now, it could be that that can be done, but it may require a different execution. At this point, we're just asking about insight. It is completely understood that the exact same execution may not work, but the insight, what we know about the cultures, because the cultures are similar, maybe it is family, how important family is, right? Then you know that, okay, messaging that projects, portrays the brand as family related, as caring about um, the consumer, um, that could possibly work for more than one group. So this is where we're going when we talk about insights. And I want everybody to be very, very clear on what cultural insights are. Um, and then, of course, um, and so I've covered kind of two sections, their point of view, and then suggestions for evaluating effectiveness. Now, that's going to be directly tied to the media that you have selected. So if you are looking at, for example, online, then you're looking at um, hits, um, people who follow links, stuff like that. So you want to look at the metrics that are specific to the vehicles that you are using, right? And so you want to say, how am I going to 
be able to tell if the campaign is effective because we don't necessarily we don't just oh implement a campaign and just leave it no we check and change over time so we want to um check in at periods making sure make sure that this is working the way that we thought it would it's having the desired effect and if it is not we're going to make changes we look at different vehicles and say okay we were expecting this type of uptake from this vehicle but we're not seeing it and so we may want to reallocate resources to another vehicle or is it that one vehicle is outperforming the others and you want to put some more in put some more resources towards that vehicle. And so in order to do that, we have to have certain metrics in place and metrics are measurements, right? To test the effectiveness. And so you wanna be able to go ahead and do that. So those are the basic sections of the marketing plan. Um, you are expected to cite all sources using either a APA or MLA style. Um, it is essential that you if you don't know how to do it, check Purdue out. Do not just go online and get one uh, these online plagiarism things that you plug the information in and it spits it out. Um, because chances are you're not going to be able to do that for your entire project. It's better if you go to, for example, the Purdue Owl website, um, check out the rules, and so that th then you can apply the rules consistently across your paper. It is essential that you do that. Make sure that you have proper spelling, grammar, punctuation, all of that. So reading and spell checking. Um, hopefully this helps to give you guys a better understanding of what is expected for the final project. Um, feel free to send me an email if you have any questions. All right. Take care.